in this screencast video lecture we will look at the explanation related to the entner dowdraff pathway which is also referred as a keta gluconate pathway this pathway is commonly present in aerobic as well as anaerobic group of prokaryotes but it is absent in the eukaryotic organism compared to gram positive gram negative bacteria found to widely have this particular pathway for the metabolism of the glucose molecule classical example of organism that is using this pathway includes zymomonas mobilis and pseudomonas species now we look at into the steps of the keta gluconate pathway or enter dowdraff pathway glucose is metabolized with the help of glucokinase enzyme into glucose 6 phosphate further glucose 6 phosphate is metabolized with the help of glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme into 6 phospho gluconolactone with the help of lactonase enzyme it is converted into 6 phospho gluconate so this 6 phospho gluconate is an important intermediary compound there in this ed pathway this can be further metabolized into gluconate with the help of glucokinase enzyme and this particular pathway can be referred as a extracellular aldose oxidation pathway that is also commonly distributed there in the gram negative organism now we look at how this 6 phospho gluconate is metabolized there in the ed pathway as it's an important intermediary compound it is further acted upon by enzyme called 6 phospho gluconate dehydratase that results in the formation of 2 oxo or keto 3 deoxy 6 phospho gluconate which is also referred as a kdpg molecule so this kdpg is further converted into 2 keto 3 deoxy 6 phospho gluconate aldolase enzyme into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and pyruvate molecule pyruvate can directly converted into acetaldehyde and ethanol under anaerobic condition this is a classical way in which zymomonas mobilis is metabolizing glucose by using the ed pathway under anaerobic condition under aerobic condition the pyruvate that have been formed by the ed pathway can be metabolized by tca cycle finally we look at the overall reaction of the ed pathway glucose in the presence of nadp and nad and in the presence of inorganic phosphate and adp is converted into two molecule of pyruvate nadph and nadh2 these are all the reducing equivalent that can be used for other biosynthesis process and finally atp and water is also produced as a end products of this enter dowdraff pathway now we look at the salient features of this enter dowdraff pathway it is an alternative pathway then which one is a prime pathway hexose monophosphate pathway and glycolysis are the prime pathways in an organism in which glucose can be converted into pyruvate it is commonly present in soil bacteria such as acetobacter mainly on cellulose synthesizing strains of acetobacter it is operating apart from that serratia xanthomonas pseudomonas rhizobium agrobacterium and acetobacter are the organism which commonly found to possess this pathway these are all coming under gram negative whereas a gram positive of enterococcus faecalis also found to have this pathway some strains of clinical pseudomonas are identified based on their ability to oxidize glucose in this particular pathway the subsequent points are those that i have already narrated by showing the steps there of the pathway that is glucose is converted into glucose 6 phosphate and finally into 6 phospho gluconate 6 phospho gluconate is in converted further into kdpg compound which is further cleave to produce pyruvate this pathway operates in archaea with a small modification that is instead of glucose 6 phosphate as a starting compound of this particular pathway 2 keto 3 deoxy gluconate 6 phosphate serves as a first intermediate phosphorylated compound that is used for the operation of this pathway 